We are here inside of Photoshop. I'm going to press the T key to jump me to the Type tool. I could also find that just down here in the Tools panel. Now out here on the canvas, I'm just going to click and release my mouse. And when I do so, I create point text. This is the kind of text that will just keep typing along a single line until I actually press enter or return. So note we get the placeholder text lorem ipsum by default, and note that it's also highlighted by default. So if I had to simply start typing, that placeholder text is immediately replaced with whatever I type. Over here inside of the Layers panel, I'm just now going to click in a blank part to deselect that layer. Now my Type tool is still active, and this time instead of clicking and releasing, I'm going to click Drag and Release. As soon as I release my mouse, that area that I drew out now defines paragraph text, also known as area text. So this time we actually get a paragraph worth of placeholder text automatically coming in. Now, my font size was a little large in this situation, and I wanted you to see this. There's a little plus sign in the square in the lower right corner. The InDesign and Illustrator users amongst you may recognize this. This is the program's way of telling you you have overset text. Basically, more text than text box. So while this is all still active, I'm just going to grab that bottom right corner and just drag this out to be a little larger, and suddenly we can see all of that text comes in. Guys, there's not actually a problem with having more text than text box. I just wanted to point out there may actually be more text present than you may realize. Now, like before, this text is automatically highlighted. So if I had to simply start typing just now, I can easily replace that placeholder text like so. Now, with the cursor inside of a text box, or if I have some text selected, this menu item, type, paste, lorem ipsum, will be available to you. And when I select that, we get an even bigger block of placeholder text getting put into our text box. So again, the plus sign just down here means we have more text than text box. I'll just enlarge this again, and you can see that's all of the text that's coming in via that menu command. Now there's one last thing I would like to show you guys, and that is a preference. So I might actually just uh, delete the text entries here inside of the Layers panel. Up under the Photoshop menu on a Mac, Preferences Type is what we are looking for. On a Windows machine, you'll find these options at the bottom of the Edit menu. So when I choose that, I want you to note this option just here, Fill New Type Layers with Placeholder Text. So if I turn that off and choose OK, you can see with the Type tool just now, if I click and release, there's our point text minus any placeholder text. And if I were to click drag and release to give us some paragraph text, again, no placeholder text coming in there. So that's it there, guys. That's placeholder text inside of Photoshop. I hope that helps. Catch you later.